The last problem we're going to talk about today is a little bit trickier. So like I said earlier, just because the number is first doesn't mean that it's going to go first in our equation. So we really need to read our story problems carefully and think about what we know, what we need to know, and how we're going to use what we know to solve to make sure our numbers and our letter X goes in the right place. So this problem says, the toy store ordered some more bears. They already had 22 bears. Now they have 75 bears. How many more bears did they order? So we can see right here they want us to figure out how many more bears did they order. But look in the problem. The very first thing it says is the toy store ordered some more bears. So that does not mean, though, that our X needs to go at the start. It says then they already had 22 bears. So if they already had 22 bears, if we're thinking about this like a story, that means they started with 22 bears. So 22 actually goes at the start. Then it says now they have 75 bears. Where do you think the 75 should go? Did you say the result? If you did, you are correct. Now they have 75 bears, meaning they end up with 75 at the end. And if the toy store ordered some more bears and they had started with 22, we then know where does our X go? Good, at the change, that's what changed. So they started with, their, with 22 bears because they already had 22 bears. So that's what they started with, then they ordered more. So now we need to think about what are we gonna use, a plus sign or a minus sign? So is 75 greater than 22 or is it less than 22? It's greater than, so they ordered more bears. They end up with 75, so it grew, it got larger. So again, now here is the equation that matches this story problem, but we always need to be careful and read our story problems extra carefully to make sure that we're not just plugging numbers in the first number we see to go at the beginning, because that's not always gonna be the case. Then we can go ahead and solve. So again, Always making sure the smaller number goes on the left, the larger numbers go on the right on a number line. So I need to figure out how much got added on to 22 in order to get to 75. So again, using my strategies, I'm gonna make a 10 by adding eight to get to 30. And then I know three plus four is seven, so I know 30 plus 40 is 70. And then I have five more to go. Now here's my answer right here. So I know that eight plus five equals 13. So then I can add 40 plus 13, which equals 53. So X equals 53. And then that is my entire answer, 22 plus 53 equals 75. Now remember, you can solve this in another way using a number line like we did in previous problems, but here is one way.